Welcome. The following DVD is to illustrate our new entry into the strip till market. One of the things we wanted to do with our entry into the strip till is to build something specifically for the dairymen and the dairy industry and how it is so different than the strip till that comes from the Midwest. The unit also was designed with individual row units. We did so because we knew, depending upon field moisture and the truck weight, we would have uneven conditions insofar as level, and we wanted to make sure the unit could even operate on top of borders where that's necessary. We designed this machine particularly with attention to soil till because we knew the planter was going to be in the same field shortly after this was run. We weren't going to be in a situation like in the Midwest where a strip till pass was done in the fall and then an entire winter went through and then we reworked the ground before we planted. The machine starts with a coulter assembly. These coulters are designed to cut trash as well as to make soil till. These are also controlled hydraulically to regulate the downforce to increase or decrease the amount of action provided by the coulter assembly. So not only do we want to cut and control and size trash, we also make some of the early seedbed tilth with these coulters. The coulters are then followed with a inch and a half by 32 inch ripper shank designed to deal with the compaction provided by the silage trucks as well as just the growing condition of a winter forage crop. Immediately following the ripper shank are two angled ring roller assemblies. These are to close the groove behind the shank as well as grind up clods produced by that shank, but also to make a ridge behind the shank for the rear roller to firm. So the last roller is a firming roller and then you're ready to plant or for your ago. We understand how compaction and the different conditions you're growing your winter forage is from just a corn to corn situation in the Midwest and what the silage trucks do insofar as compaction to that what is going to be the seed bed for the following silage crop. 